Coming to the third bit, which is p of x is equal to x power 4 minus 5x plus 6 and g of x is equal to 2 minus x square. We need to divide the polynomial p of x by the polynomial g of x. Therefore, p of x is dividend and g of x is divisor. g of x can be written as minus x square plus 2 so that the terms are in decreasing order of the degrees. Divisor can be written here which is x minus x square plus 2 and the dividend can be written here which is x power 4 minus 5x plus 6. The highest degree term of the dividend is x power 4 and the highest degree term of the divisor is minus x square. So on dividing them we get minus x square. So minus x square can be written at the place of the quotient and the divisor which is minus x square plus 2 when it is multiplied by minus x square will be getting x power 4 minus 2x square. So let us write down the multiplication one here. So on in interchanging the signs we get x power 4 and minus x power 4 will be cancelled and 2x square can be written here minus 5x plus 6. This is the new dividend and the new dividend has highest degree term as 2x square and the divisor has the highest degree term as minus x square. On dividing them we will be getting minus 2. So minus 2 can be written at the place of the quotient. So the divisor which is minus x square plus 2 multiplied by minus 2 gives 2x square minus 4. So which can be written here 2x square minus 4. 2x square and minus 2x square will be cancelled and here we will be getting minus 5x plus 6 plus 4 is plus 10. Now the degree of minus 5x plus 10 is less than the degree of minus x square plus 2 which is the divisor. So we stop the division here and this becomes the remainder and this becomes the quotient. Therefore remainder is equal to minus 5x plus 10 and quotient is equal to minus x square minus 2.